Hello to all. Today we are going to discuss some MCQs based on ecology, which are very important for the upcoming NEET and the AIMS exam. And the questions are regularly asked from the ecology. So be prepared for the ecology. The first question is that ecotone is. What is an ecotone? This is a popularly word used in the ecology. That ecotone is nothing. It is a transition zone between the two communities. It is a transition zone between the two communities. So see here, a polluted area, the bottom of the lake, a zone of transition between the two communities, and a zone of developing community. So you must know that ecotone is a zone of transition found between the two communities. So ecotone is a zone of uh, transition between the two communities. Question is asked at least two times in various medical entrance exams. So question number one is having the answer C. Question number two. According to Allen's rule, it is given in the NCRT. That's why very important. Now according to Allen's rule, the mammals from colder climate have. So always remember that the mammals which are found in the colder climate have shorter ears and shorter limbs. Always remember, shorter ear and shorter limbs. And what is the significance of having the shorter ear and the shorter limbs? Because of which they minimize the heat loss. So I have given the hint here that they are having the shorter ears and shorter limbs to minimize the heat loss. Okay, so this is the reason why the mammals from the colder region are having the shorter ears and the shorter limbs. So question number two is having the answer D. Okay, so D is the answer. Question number three, which of the following ecosystems have highest gross primary productivity? GPP means gross primary productivity. So the question is which of the following ecosystems have highest gross primary productivity? Now, these are the various types of the ecosystems given. Coral reefs, grasslands, a rain ecosystem and mangroves. So sometimes what happens that the students are confused in between these two options. That the grasslands are the ecosystem which are having the highest GPP or the rainforest are having the highest GPP. So such type of the question if it is asked then you will be always opting the grasslands. Grasslands are having more GPP or the gross primary productivity in comparison to the rainforest. So the question number three is having the answer B that is the grasslands. Question number four. Energy storage at consumer level is called. Energy storage at consumer level. The question is asked on the consumer level. So the energy storage at the consumer level is called GPP that is a gross primary productivity, secondary productivity, NPP means net primary productivity and the next option is the option is net productivity. So answer should be that the energy storage at consumer level is called as at consumer level is called as secondary productivity. B must be the answer. Why? Because it is written in the NCRT that secondary productivity. What do you mean by secondary productivity? Secondary productivity is defined as rate of formation of rate of formation of new organic matter by consumers. Rate of formation of new organic matter by consumer. So here the energy storage is consumer level is called as. So of course that is the secondary productivity. So question number four is having the answer B. And at the last see here that more than 70% of the world fresh water is contained in means the question is that that the 70% uh, of the fresh water world's fresh water is contained in Antarctica glaciers and mountains Greenland and polar ice now here there is again a confusion that some people write the answer of such type of the questions that glaciers and mountains are having the uh, world's fresh water 70% of the world's fresh water but it is not correct you must know that the more than the 70% of the world's fresh water is contained in the polar 
ice okay at the polar ice is 70% of the world fresh water is contained so question number 5 is having the answer d okay so uh, these were important questions based on ecology we will be coming soon with many more questions based on ecology so that you can do it in the neat exams so thanks a lot for watching me if you want to take the screenshot of this video you can take